What are planetary boundaries? Do you remember the movie Interstellar? Where the second dust bowl slowly make the planet uninhabitable. After the industrial revolution, excessive human use of natural resources have deteriorated the Earth's environment. In 2009, a team of environmental scientists led by Johan Rockström and Will Steffen, came up with the nine planetary boundaries, which are thresholds that must not be crossed to ensure our existence on Earth. Climate change. Biodiversity integrity loss. Altered biogeochemical cycles. Land system change. Freshwater use. Ocean acidification. Chemical pollution and novel entities. Ozone layer. And atmospheric aerosol loading. By 2015, we had already crossed three of these boundaries. One of them is altered biogeochemical cycles of nitrogen and phosphorus, which are naturally occurring elements in plant growth. However, the use of fertilizers for agricultural activities increases their amount in soil or water. And when emitted in large quantities, they increase greenhouse gases in the environment, and threaten marine life in the oceans. Biodiversity integrity loss involves an increased rate of species extinction, including living species, and ecosystems. Destruction of natural environments, pollution of the habitats, and climate change are some of the reasons. The threshold number not to be exceeded, was 10 out of a million species, but the limit was crossed in 2009 by tenfold. Climate change is characterized by an increase in the concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. The concentration of carbon dioxide in the air was 280 parts per million in the pre-industrial era, and now it has reached over 400 parts per million. In 2022, two new thresholds were crossed, chemical pollution and novel entities, and freshwater use. If we keep at this pace, scenes from interstellar may become a reality one day. Planetary boundaries provide a powerful, yet simple visual of what we should be doing. The consequences of exceeding these thresholds may not result in an immediate catastrophe, but will lead to small consequences that ultimately disrupt the entire ecosystem. These boundaries are interdependent. Therefore, we must adhere to these nine limits collectively, in order to keep the Earth habitable for future generations.